Alright, roll in, let's roll. Why don't set all cell phones uh, off? Not ready yet. Let us know when you're ready at. So I'm rolling. Alright. Hello guys. Welcome to another time out with me on the channel. I had the chance to film behind the scenes for a movie in LA. And I thought some of you guys might be interested in the same. I've been on several sets. It's not the first set I've, I've been on, but it's the first time I'm actually filming behind the scenes. So um, I wanted to like uh, share with you my experience using the Ursa 12K. Um, you would think that it's a large camera and uh, it would not be ideal, but for a lot, it was awesome. My experience shooting with it was awesome, but let me break it down. All right, um, before I proceed, I'd like to say Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, happy 2023. We made it, huh? Now, last year in 2022, I had to film this project in LA. This was um, about August. And um, of course, I was faced with the decision of the right camera for the project. Let me let you know how I got the gig now. I wasn't looking for I was trying to get a crew to film a short film I was working on. And the whole point of the short film was to, you know, work with people I felt like I would want to work with in my movie, forthcoming movie. I know I won't be able to afford uh, the big guns, but there are some young guns uh, uh, that are very good, that are as good as the big ones, just not known. So I wanted to take my time to look for such and then work with them and see if we are a good fit. And so I reached out to this guy, the DP on the set, uh, when I saw his um, portfolio and um, uh, I, I connected with him on LinkedIn and I saw his um, profile and portfolio and I said, okay, let me give him a try. And um, I said, okay, let's work together. So we got talking about the short film. Um, I met him in LA and we had a drink. We tried to arrange, um, I tried to arrange my short film, but the location wasn't giving yield, um, wasn't agreeing. They agreed at first and then they were postponing and delaying and it just never worked out. Uh, I told him I wanted to just, uh, the whole point was, I just wanted to see him walk and, you know, uh, know if we are a good fit for each other. And he said, uh, you want to come watch me shoot another movie? And I was like, oh yeah, that sounds good. Actually, I could actually do the behind the scenes so I'd be useful on set, not just watching. And it was like, oh great, because they actually want somebody to do that. Uh, and I said, okay. So um, it was a deal. He talked to the director and um, they gave me the address. I went to LA and that was how I got the gig. Now for my camera setup, I, I brought two cameras uh, of course, I brought two cameras, but I knew I was going to use one. Um, the backup camera was the Sony A7 IV, uh, which I had just gotten. And um, I just wanted it. I was hoping I would not have to use it because um, I'm just better with the Blackmagic. Workflow system, the fi files, and, you know, results. But the A7 IV was still new to me now. This um, Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro would have been my perfect camera of choice. But I had sold it in order to get the A7 IV, the Sony A7 IV. So I said, the 6K, the 12K would be ideal on so many levels. Um, good working system that I had more time with. I know I can uh, work with with my eyes closed. Um, internet ND, um, just a whole lot that will make it a lot more usable. The lenses I took, actually I knew. Um, one great lens that a lot of people are sleeping on is uh, the cheap Canon 50 to um, 250. Of Canon 55 to 250. Um, um, EFS lens, you know, with the stabilization. It's got, uh, it's got, autofocus and stabilization of course the also 12k doesn't have autofocus but the stabilization on the lens helps i had this sigma 18 to 
35 in my bag, but I never got to use it. I like to see the eyes when I'm shooting, how dedicated they are, how focused they are. And you usually can see that from their eyes. You can see it to the soul. You can see how passionate, you know. So I know that without getting close, I always want to zoom for BTS. And that's something I would like to, you know, I like, to, I hope to see more in, in behind the scenes videos. Uh, getting the getting in on the action, feeling the vibes, seeing how sound guy or the audio guy uh, or the lighting guy, they don't even have time to look at you. They don't have, they, they don't even know you're there. You see that concentration in it. Um, I like to get in on close. So I know that Zoom is ideal. Now, um, so many people will say, oh, the ideal lens is the 24 to 70 at some point you know the the director he actually gave me he gave me the 24 to 70 canon he had it in his bag i got the 24 to 70 and i used it for a while and i wasn't feeling it because i wasn't getting the reach now it was a better choice in terms of picture and um and then the constant uh, aperture which is f4 the whole range of the f4 constant aperture was good and um, a little bit more light but there, there was enough light in the room i had my ND to cut down if i needed to i just didn't see the need for um the extra light um uh, the of the brighter aperture of l4 and what was more important to me was the reach i was most of the time i was with distance away because you have to be you have to stay clear because most of the time i was shooting at 250 zoom you know, I will come down to 100, 150, and then when I want to catch the close up of the director or the, you know, the DP or the lighting guy or stuff like that, makeups and all that, I zoom in to 250. I had to go at some point, but uh, I tried to interview as much as I can, um, but I couldn't get to everybody. The scene is. Ronnie comes home and his wife is very tired and she asks him to cook and rub her feet. That's a call to send to a macho man like Ronnie and his ego and oh my God, no. So they start to fight and millions of dollars calls and breaks up the fight. Yee! Yeah! Okay. Are you ready? All right, and action. I got the part. What? I got the part. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really happy to be part of this project. I'm uh, Alexi Laptev. I do the sound location recording. I'm use the Zoom of 6 use the... 32 beats recording. I use the um, I use the Sennheiser G4. Yeah, this is my okay, boom so pole. So I use the Audio Technica 8035. Mr. Anthony, it's it's a funny person. Um, <laughs> all day it's like uh, we we laughing, yelling. So. He's uh, Mr. Anthony. Look at him. He have a lot of energy, actually. <laughs> um, I'm really happy to be part of this uh, film, really. Hi, my name is Tasha. I'm the script supervisor for the movie. Uh, what I do, I go over the lines with the actors and the actresses as they're acting. For example, if they forget a line, they'll just call out line, I'll read the line, and that helps them out. And sometimes when they're doing just the rehearsal, I'll help them out as well. We're on set, we're now working out some functions of the three-person scene, of having Anthony, the director, in the room with all three of his personalities. Should be interesting to watch, so stay tuned. Are you ready? Okay, I'm Kristen Blue, uh, first AD on Big Head. Uh, great working with Anthony, second time director. Congratulations. Audio 
I, I, I said earlier I recorded some audio. What I did was just snap uh, um, a Comica wired uh, XLR mic. So I clipped it to the you know camera. That was the only thing I had. I didn't want to have a boom boom mic uh, or any camera that was hanging around. I took I just when I got to the location I put that in and then you know taped it to the top of the camera. And only when I needed to, I just uh, extended the wire so they could do their interview and I'll take it back down. So it was very convenient. It wasn't a problem. It was just like a folded uh, um, cable, which is super light. Uh, yeah, I learned a lot from doing that and um, I think I would love to do it one more time. I mean, it's something I would love to do. Um, if I have to do this as a full-time thing, you know, if I have to do this more often, I, I would gladly do it uh, for the right price though. But um, yeah, it's it was um, it was fun and um, my camera of choice for next time would be the 6K Pro. That would have been the bomb.